What's up guys, my name is Andy Tawaras and today we're going to be talking about something that I wanted to make a video on because of another video that I saw recently, it was more like a podcast, and that podcast is Linux Unplugged, and if you haven't subscribed to Jupiter Broadcasting, I highly recommend you do, I love Jupiter Broadcasting, their, their content is fantastic, they have shows like um, the Linux Action Show, Linux Unplugged, and a bunch of others like TechSnap, Coder, uh, Coder Radio, a bunch of cool things about different industries that I love to watch, and in their last episode, I think it was the last episode of Linux Unplugged, they talked about Ubuntu and how in Snappy Core. And while they were talking about it, it gave me the uh, the idea to make a video about it. Again, I've made a video about uh, Ubuntu Snappy Core before and like what is Ubuntu Snappy Core, things like that. But I feel like we're in a transition period for Ubuntu where Ubuntu is in a changing phase. It's leaving its roots of where it was the bean based to now it's becoming snappy. Now, snappy core is more, um, if you know what containerization is, containerization is where everything is containerized, all the dependencies are containerized, so nothing can really mess up, and it's 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 to help bo uh, boost stability and a bunch of different things, but I this article is just a placeholder article. I wanted to have something up, and I'll have this in the description below just to have an idea of what we're going to be talking about. So Ubuntu is going to eventually switch to a fully snappy package system where all applications are snappy or containerized. So where all the applications are containerized and all dependencies they require are with the application. Now there's also talk about, um, and, and I also mentioned this in the previous Snappy Core video, there's talks about how they're going to incorporate where if one application uses the same dependency as another, they're going to not have to repeat that same dependency. They're going to be able to share that dependency mutually. So that's a really cool thing. I'm all for Snappy Core, but this might divide the Ubuntu community. I find this comparable to the Upstart and Systemd transition. It could be taken in a similar situation in how Upstart, we switched for every distribution switch from Upstart to uh, system D and that was a whole big controversy that went on along and when it first happened when this whole controversy between upstart and system D occurred I didn't really fully grasp it now I kind of grasp it a little bit better but I feel like this could be a very similar situation where people who use Ubuntu don't want to use the snappy core and they also they say in this article that they're going to continue providing deb based images as an alternative but i feel like uh, canonical and ubuntu's main direction is going to be going to snappy core and snappy packages and they're going to start to leave behind the debian based version so what do you think about ubuntu moving fully to snappy core a snappy core system and uh, what do you think it will do to the Linux community and how this will affect other Linux distributions in the future? Leave it in the comment section below and I will message you back. As always, my name's Andy Suarez. Please rate, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.